Nome? Morrissey. Data di nascita? May 22, 1959. Segno zodiacale? Gemini. Città natale? Manchester, England. Città di residenza? Manchester and London, England. Mestiere? Singer. Posizione nella società? Non. Gruppo preferito? The Smiths. Cantante preferito? Mm. Mm. Album preferito? Horses, Patti Smith. 45 giri preferito? Heart, Rita Pavone. Secondo mestiere ideale? Journalism. Pratichi qualche sport? No. Ti piace guardare qualche sport? Swimming. Automobile preferita? Non. Libro preferito? Oscar Wilde Complete Works. Film preferito? Saturday night and Sunday morning. Videoclip preferito? Non. Danza preferita? Non. Attore preferito? Albert Finney. Attrice preferita? Brenda Di Banzi. Eroe a fumetto o a cartone animato preferito? Non. Cibo preferito? Bread. Bevanda preferita? Tea. Cosa ti piacerebbe fare o dove ti piacerebbe essere a 50 anni? Uh, not here. Pensi che il rock abbia un futuro? Non. La tua ossessione? Mm, everything. Sogni ad occhi aperti? Constantly. I tuoi segreti? Many, many secrets. Well, because we felt it was about time that um, a pop group uh, identified themselves with normal people and um, it's, we want it to be unconventional in rock and roll terms. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Um, I think it's uh, an England that's fighting very hard to exist. It's a very traditional England. It's an England that every day is changing um, against the will of the poor person, really. Well, to each one of us, certainly Morrissey and myself, it's essential to our everyday existence. We've always written, we were writers before we existed as the Smiths, and we feel that being in a rock group or a pop group is more than just going from city to city, country to country, having a wild time with the girls uh, as well. But we, we, we think we've, we can communicate to people who otherwise feel alienated with other groups. We don't sing... Baby, baby, I need you so much. We try and identify with our audience a little more. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Because the nature of the people who are making the music is so different. The nature of Morrissey and myself as writers is very, very opposite. And um, that creeps into our art uh, as well as personally, our, our relationship. I mean, the, the music does really reflect The, the way our relationship goes. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Um, my ideal lifestyle is a democratic, socialist, English society where obviously everybody is equal and the poor person has a little bit more say. It's a situation which doesn't exist in England anymore. And when I, when I was younger, um, the, the, the government supplied everybody with enough money and uh, kids had school, free school dinners and free school milk and the National Health Service was free and um, unemployment benefit was something that people could actually live on. Well, all that over the last two decades has just died in England. There's virtually no more National Health Service. Everything's been privatised and uh, England certainly is a country for the rich person and uh, I'd, I'd like to live in the England that I grew up in as a very young kid. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Uh, we'd, we'd, I'd really don't... I really, really feel video has taken um, too much importance in, in pop music. I, th I think it's slightly overshadowed the, 
the performances of the groups and things that the groups individually have to offer visually. But I also think it takes away one of the most magical elements of music, and that's the imagination of the listener. I think it really wrecks the imagination, especially when you, a group can bring in a director just because he's fashionable or because maybe his ideas are quite um, commercial, and, and he can just make do with the song and the imagery of the song what he, what he will. I, I think that's a dreadful position for a group to be in. Concerts. We like to play concerts and make records, and that's it. Ask me, ask me, ask me. I buy guitars. It's very, very predictable and very boring. Um, um, I don't do holiday or do anything special. I like to buy records, like I always do. I just buy more records. I like to buy guitars, and um, I like to buy. I like clothes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he has a, a very, very great and important role in, in the music of the Smiths, and it, obviously lyrically. Um, but because he was profound, uh, he was very individual. He was suffered for being different. He was unconventional. Uh, he was a humanitarian, and he was sensitive, and he was. Um, he made great strides, and he was a, a great, strong individual. I mean, he wasn't. He, he fought for his art, which. Um, uh, not a lot of writers ever did. I mean, that's why he's so special. I mean, he's so special because he, he was he, he stuck to what he believed in, and uh, aside from being extremely talented, but uh, as a person, I think he, in time he'll be respected more and more because of his fight for individualism and his um, fight against personal persecution. <laughs> Big hello to all the Smiths fans in Italy. We'll be around soon. Thanks for sticking with us.